Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Today I am going to explain a very useful command in Linux that is curl. We can use curl command to get or download content from a website without opening browser. We can run the commands from the terminal and we can download the required content. Uh, let's see how to download content from a website. Yeah, to download a content from a website, first we should know the URL where our uh, required file exists. So for that what I am going to do is uh, let me go to browser and let me get the URL first. Let's say I, I would like to get the installation guide for Red Hat 7. Yes here I am in its installation guide. So here I am going to copy the URL and let me save it in some notepad. Yes I have saved it and the file name is index.html as you see here index.html yes. Now let me go to browser as you see here I am in uh, my home directory and from there I am on desktop and let me check the files as you see here there are no files on desktop so let me use curl and paste the URL of that file now what will happen is whichever the data of this index.html it will be output to the screen I mean onto the standard output so as you see here what is happening is it is not displaying the exact page however it is displaying in HTML format and if you will do ls oh there are no files here yeah you are correct see we are not saving this file but we are just viewing the content of the file so if you would like to save the content of your file to some file so how we can do this is curl hyphen small o option we have to use and give the file name let's say I am giving the file name as in my index.html then the URL just hit enter now it will not display the output to the screen however it saves the content of this index.html file to my index.html also it will show the download status yes as you see here it's the current speed of download and total file size and how much percentage is completed yeah as it's a small size uh, here we're not able to see the percentile uh, changing so if it's a larger file then you can see the percentage of completion total file size how much is received and what's the average speed and what's the current speed time spent to download the file okay and if you see the files on the desktop yes here it is my index.html and if you just uh, see the content of the file my index.html yes it's one and the same as you see previously and here what is happened is we have specified this file name externally so to download a file with the same name like without mentioning this my index.html it will be it will be saved to our local directory with the same name as it is there in the website so to do that what i'm going to do is here you no need to mention any file name instead of small o you will mention the capital o just hit enter here yes here it is and if you see the files on the desktop now you should see two files my index.html and index.html 
yes here it is and this is the latest file and this is the old file where we have given the file name now we can also use verbose option uh, like we use for other Linux commands that verbose is to know the status of the current download so current progress you mean curl hyphen v hyphen capital o let me uh, to just confirm let me delete to my index.html so yes control a and i am using hyphen v verbose option here and hyphen o is for to download the file with the same name to the current directory yes here it is as you see the status it will show the progress of the download okay and if you see the files on desktop yes here it is index.html sorry yes here is the content okay now let's say uh, yeah the file in the website is changing i mean data of the file is changing frequently and you want to download that file if it is changed after a specified date or if it is changed before a specified date so that is also possible with curl command so what options we have to use curl hyphen z and let's say you want to download files that are older than 21st july 2015 sorry uh, and the file name here what it does means is if this index.html file is modified after this 21st July then that file will will be downloaded to current directory yes what it means is it was not modified after this date okay so same way let let me check the files yeah let me remove this index.html to clarify it for you okay I ran the same command here it was not downloaded as you see it here okay let me check the files yes there is no index.html here so if so that means it was modified before this 21st July so to download that file just use instead of nothing given just give minus minus means it's older than 21st July 2015 yes it's downloaded as you see it and, and if you just do ls index.html yes here it is cat index.html here is the file for you that's correct so that's good let's say you your http or ftp website yeah ftp what why i'm mentioning is you can use curl command to download files from either http website or ftp site so let's say your http site is very secure and they are maintaining some uh, accounts to access those files so in that case you can download the file using those accounts as mentioned as mentioned here okay so curl hyphen u username you will mention as i currently i don't have a i mean a real time example to show it for you but i'll just let you know the commands that you can use as it is if the site is a secured one so curl hyphen u and username you can mention and then the password in between there should be a colon then you will mention the capital and paste it for you 
this will download a file for you okay this is one of the command and if the site is a secured site and if it's a FTP, FTP site then in that case curl hyphen u FTP username and FTP password then get. sorry guys then mention the URL so this will and here one thing you should know is here it's not HTTP site it, sh it will be some FTP site okay that's how it will be this is one of the command and one more is let's say instead of downloading a file you would like to upload some file to a FTP site so how we can do this is curl hyphen u FTP username then FTP password then hyphen t option you will mention then the file name let's say I would like to upload file one dot txt to my FTP site let's see yeah here there should not be any file name it should be some directory so I am just remove that and here is FTP site okay curl hyphen u FTP username FTP password and hyphen t file name you want to down you want to upload to the site and then the FTP site directory okay this is one of the comments let's say instead of one file you would like to upload two or three files how we can do this it's the same command let me copy the command itself yeah I'll, what I'll do is it's the same command instead of one file you will mention the file name file 1.txt file 2.txt let's say file 3.txt and so on okay and you will close the open bracket then close the code this is how you will upload multiple files to a to a FTP site okay let's say there is no internet uh, direct internet connection and you would like to use FT sorry proxy server to download a content from internet okay so this can be done like this okay curl hyphen x hyphen x proxy server then the port then you want to download file from the website index.html okay TPS this is the command okay curl hyphen x proxy server name and then the port and the file you want to download with hyphen o option so it will be downloaded to the current directory with the same index.html yes uh, yeah hope you okay sorry guys yeah uh, I'll tell you one thing you can upload maybe uh, you have a file and you would like to upload it to the web uh, website I mean while 
running the command itself you want to type some content to the file and you want to upload that same file to your website so let me do uh, let me check how to do that so curl hyphen u username then password let's say instead of username let me mention ftp username itself ftp username ftp password then hyphen t instead of giving a file name just put hyphen here okay then give the site name let's say ftp colon my ftp site okay and from there give the file name my file dot txt so here what will happen is it will ask for the content here uh, if you just hit enter it will ask the content to be put into this file once you are done with that just press ctrl d okay then that same file will be uploaded to this ftp site this is how it will be okay we can also use this curl command to get the meaning of some words okay so here uh, there is some dict protocol that will be used to get the meaning for the words so how we can do this curl d colon backslash sorry it's dict dict protocol we are using here and dict dot org is the website then show dot db this will list out all the dictionaries dictionaries available here it is so let's say yeah these are all the dis dictionaries available okay so let's say i would like to get the meaning for some word okay De define some let's say administration administration i would like to know the meaning of this word administration just hit enter here yes these are the meanings okay the act of administering government of public affairs the executive part of government so like this you can get the meaning for the words hope you like my tutorial